Keemstar preyed on an Irish fan, solicited CP from them. And then we've got high chances that he solicited CP. And now it's an explanation will be wonderful. Um, I really hope nothing sinister is taking place. I mean, look, I'm all up for a bit of trolling, but if your trolling is making life-ruining allegations against someone, I think that's a pretty crazy troll, right? As always, guys, as always, a man's life hangs in the balance. The creator of Drama Alert, the one and only Keemstar. Did he rape? A man's life hangs the balance. Welcome to another rape review. Okay. So what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a document from someone called Spink Springtrap. Trigger warning, grooming, involvement of CP. Keemstar preyed on an underage fan in 2021, solicited CP from them and got away with it for years. 35 pages of evidence. Please like and retweet. Okay. Right. So let me have a look through this. I mean, I don't, I can't imagine there's anything here that's going to be against, against the rules. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any, any images beyond. Right. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's read the thread first and then we'll come back to the document. Please like and retweet TLDR in thread. In 2021, a video clip was uploaded showing Keemstar grooming an underage fan on Instagram with high chances that he solicited CP from them. Wait, hang on a sec. So conclusively they say here, solicited CP. And then we've gone to with high chances that he solicited CP. So we've already gone in one tweet from he definitively did it to there's a high chance that he did it. Okay, well that's a bit of a bit of a concern, isn't it? That's not a good sign because you're claiming conclusively he did it and now it's as high chance as he did it. Right, okay, dude. <laughs> and now I think if you're gonna make such a, a, a crucial mistake like that, well, is that your perspective on what high chances is? What does high chances mean? Because to me, soliciting CP should be a case of showing a DM of someone asking in some fashion, you know, like what Zero was accused of. I don't think the screenshot ever came out, but something like that. You know, someone asking for the material. So what does high chances mean if we're looking at messages? How can we say hi to do? Okay. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue on. This thread would explain conversation between Keemstar and the underage fan. He has completely gotten away with this for three years. The account in question who uploaded the clip is content in quotes, who appears to be a fan of Keemstar. His PFP is inspired by one of Keem's products. His second channel had a PFP of Keem. And when we go into the Wayback Machine, we can see that he uploaded a fan video about Keemstar. Okay, content in quotes. And then the second channel, content in quotes too. Axis of Evil is a clothing brand made by Keemstar, Leafy and Rice Gum. And then content in quotes most likely made his PFP based on one of the products from Axis of Evil. Okay. Right. Okay. They're just showing us the channels. Only way content in quotes could get that clip is if someone from Keem's fan base, which he was in, told him about what happened between Keem and that underage fan. He states in the description of his video, I've recently been made aware of this 
by someone who knows of the girl involved. I take things like this very seriously. Nothing makes me angrier than stuff like this. If I'm misunderstanding the situation, I would love to know. An explanation would be wonderful, but as of right now, this doesn't look the best. I really hope nothing sinister is taking place. Wait, dude. Keemstar preyed on an Irish fan, solicited CP from them, and then we've got high chances that he solicited CP, and now it's an explanation would be wonderful. Um, I really hope nothing sinister is taking place. So, I thought I thought we had something more conclusive here based on this description, and we've, we've backpedaled on two of the to the two key claims. Oh, hey, Mary, Chew, how's it going? I heard you had some uh, brilliant takes about my, my take on the Finster stuff. <coughs> Don't be fucking weird, chat. Don't be weird. Just relax, okay? Don't be odd. Yeah, dude. I don't know, man. This is... Why? <laughs> How can we go from this is conclusive and stating it as a matter of fact and record to... Oh, I hope nothing sinister is happening. And, you know, high probability, high chance. Okay. Already, I've got some concerns and we're only a couple of tweets in. Okay. And also, another thing with this too. Okay. Is that you, would, you lead with your best foot forward. And in my mind, if you've got some sort of substantive evidence or something, say of Keemstar explicitly asking a minor for nude images, you'd lead with that and you'd put that as the first image because that's going to get people to go, what, what the hell, right? So there's, so far we've got nothing of any substance, just, you know, talking about the situation and sharing, sharing screenshots and stuff like that. So yeah, a little bit confused, to be honest with you. So this is the underage fan that we're talking about. The underage fan appears to be an... A 15-year-old girl on Keemstar, on Instagram, is a fan of Keemstar, and she loves being romantic a lot. All of this is stated in her bio. Keemstar knew all of this and yet decided to groom her. Okay. Kit V, 15. She's 15 years old. She loves being romantic a lot. She's a fan of Keemstar. Wait. Exo and Baby is the evidence okay, that wonderful. she loves being how romantic. Do I make money what? Off depressed people. BB McChud, it's over 40 pages. It must be true. Alex kissed her ass allegation. Also, does this definitely mean her age? Is this, def is this definitive of her age? Like, people, are, people, people have numbers in their, their name that mean all sorts of things. Is this, does this definitely mean that she's 15? Is there more confirmation than this of her saying it? Yeah, and, and dude, this is... Bro. <laughs> Are you going to cover the Tech Tone updates? If there's Tech Tone updates, put them on my Discord and I'll take a look, yeah. Right, okay. A beginning of conversation between Keemstar and the girl. Keem uses his deep fake catfish lie trap when he calls her a bot. So he could exert control over her and get her to say his name three times on a video. He would do this later so he could groom her. Hi, Keem. That's a no from me, dog. Oh my God, hi. Hi, bot. I'm not a bot. Say my name on video three times. Okay, one sec. Video moi. Right. Okay. I don't know what these voice notes say, but that seems to be the entirety of the message logs, no? Is, dude, I'm... <laughs> what does the audio say as well? Bro, this, this is giving me fucking crazy vibes, dude. I, what, dude, there's something, there's something terribly amiss about all this. This doesn't, this is not, this is not stacking up for me at all. And even if this is true, what has he even said? Like he thinks this person is a bot. And so he's asking them to say their name. And then the way this is described, Keem uses his deepfake catfish lie trap 
where he calls her a bot so he can exert control over her and get her to say his name three times. No, I've never covered this before. This is the first time I've spoken about this. It's also him testing if he could exert some control over her. <laughs> that is an insane claim. And the evidence for this is he asked her to say his name, which is something you do to verify whether or not someone is an actual account, which is not that crazy to me. It's like, yeah, I, you know, I don't know the intent of this conversation. We've not even proven in a reasonable way this person is definitively 15, first of all. They could be an adult for all we know. Um, and even if that were true, I don't really see anything here of any meaningful concern. Fucking, yeah, okay. Um, just control of her and he could get her to send him a video of her saying his, his name three times. Keem fully knows that she's not a bot. He only pretends that she's a bot so he could exert control over her. Okay, that's wonderful. Based on but what? How do I make money what? off depressed people. This freak was one of the people that pushed that narrative that the Roblox YouTuber who was a minor was a groomer, if you remember. Not trustworthy. How does Keem fully know? There are bots. Dude, I mean, you obviously don't, you don't normally talk to them. So I guess you could ask if the screenshot's real, the recording's real. What reason? I mean, it's not, but there's nothing there that I'm like, okay, you need to explain this. It's like, who fucking cares if someone is having a private conversation trying to verify someone's a bot and there's nothing, it's like nothing there. And, uh, you know, you get these messages and stuff, don't you? From people. And they're like, try and talk to you like a normal person. And then it's like, they're a bot. So you don't want to continue a conversation, right? So yeah, this is fucking insane. Making a claim like this without meaningfully backing that up is fucking wild. And we're dealing with like life ruining allegations here. You know, you know, it's like, this is, this is, this is not kosher, you know, uh, even if you really fucking, I'm, you know, I'm fairly neutral on Keemstar, broadly speaking, but if, even if you hate Keemstar, I mean, there's no way that you can, you know, in good faith, back this up or act like this is fucking something. Anyway, let's continue on. Girl sadly sent him videos of her saying his name three times because she didn't want to anger Keemstar. And fans don't want to upset their favorite social media influencers. He would then do this again later in the conversation so he could groom her. This is how he managed to groom her. Okay. 15-year-old girl's first message. Keemstar's first message after girl sent him message. But we've still not proven that she's 15. That's literally just based on the number 15 being in the... You know, it's not even like it's in the description, 15 years old. It is part of the handle has got the number 15 in, which could mean anything. It doesn't specifically claim it's the age. I also want to mention how this conversation took place during night. Keemstar replied to a message 11 hours later, and at that time it was night. Next page will show you more proof that he's online, even when it's very dark. World War Three before the election, 4.56 a.m. Okay. Here are some screenshots of him posting on Twitter at around the same time he sent his first message to a 15-year-old girl. Again, we're saying that conclusively without that being proven. Where, where, where is the proof this person is 15, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, here's some tweets that are online at the same time. There's, there's a thing that I think people do where they put a bunch of screenshots in and it presents the impression that there's more evidence than there actually is. And I think that's what's happening here. You know? It's like, there's nothing really here, so you're just pumping in a bunch of screenshots to make it look like a bigger thing than it truly is. That's nothing. Okay, moving on. Yo, that is fucking hilarious. What is that, deep fake or something? That is, like, not real. <laughs> After girl proves she's not a bot, Keemstar then switches to calling her a deep fake, basically continuing with this deep fake lie so he could groom her. Keem fully knows that it's a real girl. How, does, how do we know that? Girl responds saying that she's not a deep fake, let alone knowing what it is. Well, can we listen to that as well? Why is that not included? 
Yo, that is fucking hilarious. What is that, deep fake or something? That is, like, not real. <laughs> Okay. I don't even know what that's supposed to prove. He's questioning whether this person is a bot or not. Okay, we can listen to the audio there. Right, okay. Keem then calls her a dude making a girl voice he's trolling on YouTube, which then brings us to an important question. How would Keem even know that she had a YouTube channel in the first place? That's fucking hilarious. You're a dude making a girl voice. And you have a fucking, like, a deep fake. This is fucking crazy. Do you do this trolling on YouTube or something? So it seems pretty obvious that Keemstar is just thinking, oh, is this person, like, tr trying to troll me? And they're on YouTube. Right? I don't think he knows that they've got a YouTube channel. He's just saying, like, oh, what, are you fucking some sort of troll trying to fuck with me or something? Right? But how is this described? Keem then calls her a dude, making a girl voice who's trolling on YouTube, which then brings us to an, into an important question, which is, how would Keem even know that she had a YouTube channel in the first place? No. He says, <laughs> what? This is fucking crazy. Do you do this trolling on YouTube or something? He's not saying that they've got a YouTube channel definitively. He's just proposing that they're trolling him for YouTube, which is like not a crazy assumption. <laughs> it's like something is there that doesn't prove anything and they act like it does. Oh, this proves that he knows he had a YouTube channel. How did he know? Girl then asks him if people deep fake him a lot. Keem admits to never being deep faked, yet still calls her a deep fake. Keem only pretends that she's a deep fake. Girl then asks Kim if he finds her hot as a concern that he might find her attractive despite being underage. Nope, you're the first. Okay. Kim start immediately. Kim start immediately dodges a question and starts grooming her. Wait. <laughs> grooming her. Where's the grooming, dude? Where's the fucking grooming? Groom that's grooming her and is sending videos, pictures of a full body, Tim, for his desires. Or he's like, is this person fucking with me? Or are they a real person? You know, send me a fucking image or video of you so I can see that you're a real person. Wait, what? What's the grooming? Where's the grooming there? <clears throat> if this person sent a video of like a full body thing and it was a fucking minor and Keemstar continued, yeah, you'd fucking have him banged to rights of having something to go at there, right? But it's also interesting that this is a pedo catch. This is like, a, this is a pedo catch they're trying to do. And Keemstar obviously isn't playing ball in a way that, you know, proves he's doing something wrong. So they're having to make it up basically, you know? That's what it seems like. I think, we, yeah, Stylo's correct about it. It's baby T-cap, yeah. And Keemstar's not playing ball, and he's probably sniffing out that there's something going on here, so he's playing the game. You know, hence him saying... Okay, I'll play the game, all right? Respond with multiple videos of you just you talking about whatever. Go ahead. So, you know, this to me, I mean, what is it? 4 a.m. This idea that Keemstar is, is looking to goon. He's probably just, like, bored in the middle of the night and, you know, it's like, oh, someone's trying to fuck with me. Let's, let's play the game and see what happens, right? I don't think he's doing this because he's like, I want to elicit lots of pictures of a young person to jerk off to. It's, it's just, yeah, okay, this person's trying to fuck with me. Let's see how far we can take this. And full fucking body, not just your fucking face. I'll play the game. He also sounds a bit drunk, does he not? He's probably drunk as well. He sounds like he's drunk, so he's probably drunk too. And the whole thing about being, I'm that hot, gosh, mm, I don't know.
He's lying. He does think that she's hot. And the reason he said, I don't know, is because if he said that he finds her hot, that would alert the girl. Can you start answering the question? I don't know. Only after he starts grooming her. And the reason he answered like that is because he didn't want her to know that he finds her attractive. Okay, I mean, that's a bit weird, I guess. But I mean, I, I think this, this framing is still crazy. Keem even admits to having a malicious intent to exploit this girl in a video on the left. Yeah, this is... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I figured this out. <laughs> yeah. Th right. So, yeah, I mean, is he drunk? Bored? Is there maybe a possibility of, of like, a bit of gooning? Maybe. Maybe you could argue that. I don't know. The hot thing is a bit weird, I guess. But, like, what seems more likely is he's drunk. Someone's trying to troll him and he's, he's sniffing out in his drunken mindset. You know, is there a story here? You know, is someone trying to fuck with me that I could talk about because it might be content? I don't know. That's the impression that I'm getting from this, you know? Him saying that he'll figure this out. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Don't you know, Chud? Messaging means you're grooming. Actually, you're grooming me now by reading this. Thank you for the super chat. Him saying that he'll figure this out, then making a suspicious laughter, only confirms that Keemstar has a malicious intent to exploit this girl. Wait, what? <laughs> <coughs> so drunk Keem suspects that some random Twitter user might be a minor or a honeypot. Where? Okay. Freddy the Yeti. Your, your fucking derangement has already put you on a bad step. Where here is anything that shows that Keemstar suspects this person is a minor? I'm not seeing anything that suggests that Keemstar is of the belief that this person is a minor. And the only evidence that we've got to show that the person is a minor is the fact they've got the number 15 in their profile. Which isn't good enough for me. I'd need more than that. Because who fucking knows what the number 15 means? It's not as if it's in the, in the description, 15 years old, or it's been said in a message from what I can see. So I, you know, I don't know where you're getting it from that, that Keemstar is thinking this person is a minor, right? So you're already fucking on the wrong track. Where's the sweeping? Show me where the sweeping is. Show me where I'm wrong. Or a honeypot. We request him to send him full body pics to confirm. That doesn't seem a little odd on his on his part to you. Um, yeah, I said like it's a bit weird, maybe. I mean, he sounds like he's drunk. It's a bit of an odd thing to do, you could say, perhaps. But there's a fucking orders of magnitudes between weird or odd and grooming and soliciting CP, right? So it's like a, such a work, like we're talking about someone accusing this guy of grooming and soliciting CP. And you're like, Chud, don't you think this is a bit weird? I don't really care if it's a bit weird. I care about the fact this guy's getting accused of crazy shit of illegal acts. Right? So no, I, the idea that it's a bit weird is like, whatever, I don't care. And I could, couldn't care less if there's a bit of weirdness happening here. Right? He sounds fucking drunk. <laughs> Where's the sweeping? Show me where the sweeping is. What have I said that's sweeping? What have I said that is wrong in the purpose of serving to sweep this under the rug? Tell me. Tell me what the sweeping is. Dude, if anything, Keemstar being an nonce, right? That's fucking, that's better for business. That's good content. That's fucking bang it, dude. Keemstar getting exposed as a nonce. That's a, you know, you're laughing, aren't you? So if anything, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> negative. <laughs> negative that this isn't, doesn't seem to have any merit for me. Him saying that we'll figure this out, then make this with laughter. Confer only confirms, only confirms that Keemstar has a malicious intent. Dude, this is crazy framing. It's just utterly absurd how hard this is getting framed. Um... Okay. Girl then goes on to prove that she's in DMs with real Keemstar himself. To add more proof that she is within the DMs with real Keemstar himself, here's an image adding more proof 
that it's the real Keemstar himself. So people still want proof about the Keemstar and Profile of Keemstar during conversation with a 50-year-old girl. Profile of Keemstar in DMs. For someone else. Name matches. I mean, it does seem that this is the real Keemstar account, I guess. But they keep saying 15-year-old girl. Is, is there anywhere that that's been proven? I, I've not seen that bit. Any, they keep saying it. As if it's like just prove as a matter of fact. I don't, is, it, is it a matter of fact? I've not seen it, bro. Where is that part where they say... <laughs> Here's a video explaining more proof that she sent him pictures of a full body to him. In the next post, we talk about why these pictures could potentially be CP. So people still want proof about the King Star and Jimmy and Amber. Notice this part I circled. Those are pictures of a full body. They're censored because while content in quotes was making the video, he censored those pictures by putting a black screen over them. Reason we know that those are her pictures, aside from the girl confirming she sent the key, is because of the spacing between her so much work messages. And those pictures that I circled, which are censored by black screen, especially the fact that they're censored, which 100% proves sent pictures of full body to him. Wait, what? So, okay, right, <laughs> okay. Let's just, uh, let's just fucking notice, okay? So, we've gone from... Does Chud know this is a troll? <laughs> Why? I mean, look, I'm all up for a bit of trolling, but if your trolling is making life-ruining allegations against someone, I think that's pretty crazy troll, right? So we've gone from solicited CP to high chances the solicited CP, okay? To, where was that thing? The black bar thing. The black bar thing? <coughs> this guy's trolling 100%. Hey man, consider, guys, I don't know, guys, I don't know why you're acting like if this is trolling. It's like it, it, dismissible out of hand, right? This guy is making an allegation of grooming and soliciting CP against someone. Where's the fucking troll? Dude, what do you mean it's a troll? They're trolling by making a, re a genuine life ruin allegation against someone. What are you on about? I don't understand what you mean by it's trolling. Do you mean like, like this is not worth looking at or not worth paying attention to? Is that what you're saying? Like this is exactly the kind of thing that could get picked up. Not worth taking seriously. I mean, dude, I don't know. I just think even if it's a troll, it's still like a, an allegation, right? It's like Schrodinger's troll. It's not Schrodinger's troll. It's like Poe's law, you know, without knowing the intent. But yeah. <laughs> it's like trolling a school with a bomb threat. I, I, I just don't know what the point of that is. Oh, it's a troll. Okay, if it was a troll of, oh, Keemstar's bold or something, I don't fucking know. Or that meme of his fucking beard edited out. But the troll here is Keemstar solicited CP. Like, am I not supposed to fucking look at that and go, okay, well, let's have a look at the claim. And then it turns out it's a bunch of bullshit. Considering that you have an iFunny badge next to your Twitter name, can you please tell iFunny to retweet this or quote tweet this and spread this thread, considering this thread is spreading very slowly? I really don't want this thread to flop, and I don't want Keemstar to get away with this, especially considering his favourite candidate just won election by cheating multiple times. 
And this person is trying to ask people to, you know, spread the thread around. I just don't, un I just don't understand like this argument of, oh, it's just a troll, you know, someone making allegations of crime being committed with a document with, you know, presented evidence is a troll. Like, okay, it's a troll then, but the troll is you're a fucking pedophile and committed a crime and you've solicited CP. I think that's probably worth engaging with still, right? I don't, I mean, am I missing something here? <laughs> Am I missing something? I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to take away from the idea of this being a troll. I mean, yeah, dude, like that person in chat earlier was talking about how this is a bit weird. Like, you know, and it's like, then it becomes, oh, Keemstar's done something wrong somehow here. Even if it's a troll, there's still an element of this. And it's why, I mean, does that work in court? If you still want to cover a troll allegation, then that's chill. <coughs> now I'm doubting myself. Now, now I'm starting to doubt myself. <laughs> now I'm second guessing myself. Well, no, but when you say things like, oh, if you want to cover a troll allegation, that's up to you. And I'm like, well, but then it's a serious allegation, even if it's made as a troll. No. Look at the doc. I'll finish reading the thread. I'll finish reading the thread. Okay. Here's an answer from a lawyer when asked about posting a picture of fully clothed underage on the girl is considered illegal. The threat is not real. Okay. What does it say in the document that proves it's a troll? It's just the same as the thread, right? Is it at the end? Where, okay, what part of this do I look at in order to confirm that this is a troll, exactly? Like, what do you mean by troll? <laughs> this seems like someone is trying to do a predator catch on Keem and faking, like, being a minor, and it's not worked out. Right? So... You know, they're, they're, they're trying to twist it in a way to make it seem like he's guilty of having done something wrong, which doesn't seem to be the case. Turkey Tom. A message to Keem's friends. The people who are friends of Keemstar or support him such as enlisting a bunch of people off. You've been working with a predator who doesn't care about you at all. Only thing he cares about is absolute power and fame and it desperately seeks every year. Even though most of you don't didn't know that Keemstar did this to a 15 year old okay, girl on Instagram. Wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Shut it's like the sniper wolf effect just because we as community is supposed to hate Keemstar as he's the bad guy we can say whatever we like about him. Yeah, I just like I, this this narrative of oh someone is levying allegations of you soliciting CP and grooming a minor, but it's just a troll. I just don't get what you mean by that. It's still making the allegation. It's still putting together pieces of evidence and editorializing it in a way, you know, in order to present the impression that this has indeed happened, or there's something here worthy of attention or worthy of consideration. 
Like, I just don't know. Like, so you're not supposed to mention it. You're supposed to go, oh, it's just a troll. Don't worry about it and not engage with it at all. I just, bro. Like, if this is making serious allegations, does that work in court? Oh, yes. I accused him of being a pedophile in a, in a you know, release document, but it was just a troll, your honor. I didn't really mean it. So this defamation case should be dismissed. You've been working with a predator who doesn't care about you at all, uh, Baron Fame. Even though most of you didn't know that Keemstar did this to a 15-year-old girl on Instagram, you still have time to cut all ties with him, or you'll be remembered as someone who defended a predator who has caused countless drama on YouTube and his behavior, along with Leafy's behavior. It was responsible for YouTube apocalypse of 2016-2017, which not only changed YouTube forever, but also changed internet forever for the worse. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Three years <coughs> from now, this will be the unfindable proof that Keemstar has been credibly accused. Thank you for the three dollars, five dollars. You're an absolutely disgusting human being who never cared for anyone else and only cares about himself. Not only, not only you're already a disgusting human being who has never changes, but you're also a disgusting pedophile and groomer. You're a disgusting pedophile and groomer. Oh, just a troll, guys. I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling. What's the problem? I don't get this trolling point you're trying to make here. Who solicited CP from a 15-year-old Instagram of whom you knew their age. Your daughter, who you defended very much from Shadman, will now have to live with the fact that you were a pedophile for the rest of her life. What? <laughs> I, what, do, what does trolling mean to you? What does trolling mean to you? This doesn't seem like trolling to me. Trolling is like poking a bit of fun at Keemstar or something like that. Not making repeatedly life-ruining allegations, in, you know, invoking his daughter. I don't, you guys are fucking gaslighting me right now, I feel. I can't even imagine how she's going to feel once she finds out that you're the very thing that you swore to protect her from. It's now too late to apologize for everything you did these years. And only reason you would ever even apologize for this behavior is because you got caught. You had all the time to reflect on yourself and become a better person. But instead, you still continued your degenerate behavior that ruined YouTube with the internet. And you ended up grooming a 15-year-old on Instagram. The same year that you called out Call Me Carson for doing the same thing you did. You've disappointed your entire family, bloodline, all your friends, and most importantly, you have disappointed your daughter, which is the only thing you would love in this world, aside from yourself and your channel and career. And Keem, if you end up reading this document, I know you're going through a lot right now, just know you did this to yourself. Where's the troll, guys? Please, someone explain to me what the troll is. This sounds like someone who is possibly... Maybe a minor that's made this or something. And that's like, what? <laughs> no, I was, I was right. You caused doubt in my mind, but I was correct. You should, en you should engage with this as you would any other allegation, you know, assessing its claims on its merits. Like this idea that, oh, I think it's a troll, so don't bother going. Like, what are you on about, dude? They're fucking repeatedly saying Keem's a pedo. You know, Keem's a fucking groomer. Keem is, you know, invoking his daughter. What if this gets picked up? What if this gets picked up and reported on and spoken about, say? What then? Oh, it's just a troll, guys. I, I just don't understand this mentality that you're trying to present here. <clears throat> I think this document was made to troll Keem and commentators. <laughs> okay, you're fucking... I, I don't know what point you're trying to make. I don't know why you think that serious life ruining allegations should be ignored or not engaged with because it's just a troll. That just seems like a crazy concept to me. I can't get my head around that, okay? It doesn't look like it has legs. He's talking about Keem's bloodline. Dude, are you, you, that's your thing that it's a troll. He's also, or they are also repeatedly invoking his daughter whilst calling him a pedophile. 
Like, you're totally on the wrong track on this. You're wrong. You're just wrong. It's that simple. I'm right, you're wrong. End of conversation. I can't fucking engage with this retarded logic of, oh, it's a troll, so don't worry about it. You know, when you say it hasn't got legs, there's lots of allegations that don't have legs, but you still look at it and talk about it. You know, and by the way, I'm not saying that I'm doing this because, oh, I'm trying to fucking bring truth and justice to the world. It's content. It's content to go over this kind of thing. But I don't think the idea that you think it's a troll makes us any less worthy of attention than any other allegation that gets posted online like this. <coughs> Stop edging. No, you said if you want to... No, no, no. You said earlier, if you want to go over a troll allegation, that's fine. The implication being that you're engaging seriously with something that's just meant to be a troll. And I'm saying, let's say it's, your logic is correct and it is a troll, it's still levying serious allegations that could be repeated. I mean, this has been reposted and stuff. Do these people think it's a troll or do they think they genuinely have got something here on Keemstar? <coughs> okay. Anyway, there's just a couple of people that were twisting my melon, okay? You're twisting my melon. Stop. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Thank you for the two dollars. But I don't think I'm being trolled. I don't think I'm, I don't think this is, you know. Um, okay. So this is the, yeah, this is the thing, we, we were here, right. And now, get, let's get back to this. So the part circled is black, apparently that's proof that an image was being sent, right? Big's got deleted because of him blocking her. Okay, that's wonderful. But how do I make money off depressed people? Shuds on the Mobeast Fortnite roster confirmed. Thank you. Full face. Thank you for three dollars. A comparison between current screenshots of DMs after pictures got deleted and screenshots of DMs before picture got deleted. The girl 100% sent pictures to him. Deleted. So, but we've got no and right. Me, of course. I think that's probably why like they got deleted because they blocked me. But I don't... so there's no actual proof of pictures even being sent. It's just uh, a sort of belief on the basis of how big a gap is on a screenshot. <laughs> Keemstar didn't ask for pictures of a chest. He asked for, for, for her pictures of a full body. But here's why even those pictures could be potentially CP. Once again, we've gone from Keemstar solicited CP and we've now walked it all the way back to, you know, in order to prove that the, they were real, they sent images, full body images of themselves and they could potentially be CP, but we can't actually see what was sent so we don't actually know if any pictures got sent, but we believe it is because there's a black box here. Right, okay, dude. And it's got these answers from a lawyer. Here's an answer from a lawyer when asked about if posting pictures of fully clothed underage gun online is considered illegal. The lawyer confirms that posting a picture is online is indeed illegal. Is it illegal? And they say it could be. If it suggests it, right, okay, dude. That's not what they're saying, obviously. Is it illegal for mine to send pictures in a bikini? If it's sexually, it could be. But also, where's the bikini thing coming from? Okay, this is fucking just totally worthless. If we consider her bio and that she sent him noir messages showing that she loves him, there's a very high possibility. Okay, dude. there's a very high possibility that a 15-year-old girl posed in a sexually suggestive. Where? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about the cough, guys. I'm, I meant to mute there. I should have muted. I think. I think that what Stylo said earlier is correct. This troll thing is a total dead end and it's retarded. I think this was an attempt to try and. To catch a predator, Keemstar. I think it didn't go very well. I think it didn't work. 
I think it wasn't successful because Keemstar didn't do anything that, you know, was worthy of any condemnation. So they've had to completely twist what's happened in order to falsely present the impression that he actually has done something. Right? Because the way it's, you know, they're having to like put their, their fist on the scale in order to present the impression that he's done something wrong. Right? <clears throat> if we consider her bio, she's 15. Again, not proof not that is not proof 15 dude not proof not good not good proof though 15 moi message showing that she loves him then there's a very high possibility that 15 year old girl posed in a sexually suggestive way no, there's not a very high possibility dude these people what is that's not what very high possibility means it's if anything it's a very slim chance that this happened While taking pictures of a full body, which means that pictures she sent to Keem could be considered CP. Indeed. This would mean that Keemstar solicited CP of a 15-year-old girl and not just one picture, but multiple pictures of a full body in a suggestive way. This is fucking schizo shit, dude. Keemstar even confirms that what he did to this girl is in fact grooming. When I called him out on my Broly parody account, he blocked me, which confirms that this conversation between him and her is real, and what he did to her is in fact grooming. He self-admitted it. Right. Oh, so you quote tweeted him saying that he groomed a minor, and he blocked you, and that's apparently proof that he did it. Right, okay, dude. <coughs> and then obviously we've read this conclusion already. So, yeah. If you ever had an experience with Keemstar, then feel free to come out and I'll add your thread in this thread or feel free to DM me about it so I can get your story out. Also, please share this across Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok and other social media. Right, okay. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to read this document. That's why I'd probably draw the line. Reading the document seems totally worthless if that's the best evidence that they've got. Yeah, I believe that this was a pred catch. I don't know who's made this document. You know, I mean, this, this person is an individual. Maybe they're some sort of troll. I don't know. But like the person that made this document is trying to levy very serious claims, whether or not that's a troll. I mean, like, what are you supposed to do about this? Like, just go, oh, no, don't worry about it. It's just a troll. Dude, it's a fucking allegation that's being made. It's good fodder for a rape review, as far as I'm concerned. And it's been weighed, measured and found wanting. As far as I can see. Way to protect your bro. Keemstar is not my bro, first of all. What even look into the claims to get a full picture? I've just read through a long thread with what I'm going to assume are the most, are the best allegations, the best evidence, and there's nothing there of any merit, right? There's nothing there at all. The, the worst thing is the thing about the hot, whether or not they're hot, which if, if you look at it through a fucking little keyhole like this, you could say it was maybe a bit weird. But, well, that's it. Like, what do you mean? Like, I've got to read through this full 32, five-page document when I've, there's, the thread has not presented anything I've got any real meaningful concern about. It's a waste of time. You know, it's not like I don't have loads of time to go over this stuff, but it's just like, you know, I kind of want to get to this Himpleton raping that happened on Aiden's stream. I think, think he did. Dude, fuck it. Bro. Himpleton is such a fucking liar, bro. It's unbelievable. How am I sweeping? It's explained to me. What am I sweeping? This is fucking dumb. There's nothing here. And, you know, regardless of, regardless of whether or not you think this is a troll, there are still serious allegations being levied. 
I think you're falling for the pose law thing. Like without intent, you can't establish whether someone is is doing satire or not. In this case, trolling. And I think you're interpreting a very poorly put together document as trolling, whereas I'm saying it's a poorly put together attempt to catch a predator and it's not done anything, you know? Anyway, there we go, guys. That, I feel, is the end of that. Um, I hereby find Keemstar innocent on all counts. But he is bold. He is bold. He is bold. He is indeed bold. That is true. And he likes to hide it.